What's up, fellow creators? If you want to see more photography and videography tutorials, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Um, in this next video, I'm going to show how I created a promotional video from start to finish. For those that have seen some of my previous videos know that I film weddings full time. And my nephew's currently getting into DJing on the side, so I just wanted to make him a quick 30, 40 second promotional video. The video that I made, which I'll be showing here shortly, was fully filmed on the Fujifilm X-T3 with two different lenses, and it was filmed and edited all in one night. I used two different lenses, the 23mm f2 and the 56mm uh, 1.2, which is 85mm equivalent. Um, some of the B-roll shots aren't going to be as great because I, I filmed them with uh, iPhone 8. Um, but in this video, I'm just going to show you um, his promotional video and all the steps that I took in order to achieve the shots that I did. So with that said, let's check it out. Hi, I'm Christian, owner of Secured Entertainment. We provide a quality service throughout Mid and Southeast Michigan. This includes wedding ceremony and reception, private parties, and corporate events. If you want a quality entertainment experience, secure your entertainment today by visiting securedentertainment.com. So for the talking headpiece, I had a pretty simple setup. I just used three different lights. Um, I used his DJ backdrop as a background for the shot, and I used a Young Nua YN216 light with a blue gel and just put it on the ground, pointed up at his equipment. Um, I used another one of those and put it behind his shoulder, pointing down as uh, like a hair shoulder light. And for the key light, I just used the Came TV 55 watt, 55 watt Boltzmann LED light, which is the same light I used at all my wedding receptions. And I just threw an umbrella on it and shot through it. And this is essentially the, what you're seeing right now. I got the Came TV right over here, and right behind me as a shoulder light, I have the YN216. For audio, it's actually the same thing I'm using right now. I use the Zoom H1 with the giant squid lav. And just so you know, everything that's mentioned on this video will be in the description below. Um, for all the motion shots, I actually use the Glidecam HD 4000. I absolutely love this thing. I've used this for the past two and a half years um, filming weddings. I got the Came TV, or the, the Crane 2, but I just wasn't a fan with it. I was getting micro jitters, and to me, this just has a more of a fluid look, and I'm just more of a fan of this. I am looking at the Ronin S, but I just haven't had a chance to, to get that yet but I use this for all the motion shots. And for the dancing, you did see some of those light effects. Um, those were all just shot in camera with the prism. And these are awesome, $13, just a piece of glass, and you literally can just, you just gotta play around with it, and you just rest it on the lens. And that's how you get those light effects that I used for some of the dancing shots within the promotional video. So I hope you got something out of this video, and if you have any questions, just leave in the comment section. If you have any um, suggestions for me, just leave in the comment section below. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.